Hi, I'm Mandy Simon from BitBugs.co.z and today we're gonna do an arboreal setup. Sorry, it looks dirty, but I just washed it so it's still a bit. Uh, how can I put it? A bit steamed from the heat. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Um, beet, obviously, water bowl. Now, two very important things this is a um, um, sorry the most important things in our boreal setup obviously you need a boreal cage that means it's a tall cage and not the normal flat cages and then as you can see here is ventilation and then you need ventilation right there at the back let me just lift this up a bit there so basically why do you need that you need cross ventilation so you need a flow it can be from bottom to side, side to side, as long as it's cross ventilation it's really important. So my versicolor that stayed in here before was 14 years old. It was actually Tim's versicolor. He had a long before we even met and she died a few weeks ago. I knew she would because 14 years it's extremely extremely good for a versicolor or basically for any arboreal and she still made an egg sac at 12 years so and now I need to replace her. Not that you can actually really replace a spider because they all got a special place in your heart. But anyways, okay, so water bowl. Most people don't put water bowls in. Oh, beat, get out of there. But I do, especially for boreals. I do not wet my arboreal speed. It is just dangerous. What you can do is you can spray your sides, okay? Like this. You do not spray the peat itself, you do not wet the peat itself. A lot of people say, yeah, but they came, most arboreals come from the rainforest and it's always wet and blah blah blah. Arboreals are not going to sit on the peat, they're going to sit on top here. So they're not going to sit in all of the water and the river and everything flowing around. They go up high in the trees and they sit there underneath a big leaf and a branch and whatnot. So. And the reason also why you don't wet your peat is you don't want mites, you don't want nematodes, you don't want anything yucky, you don't want mold. Mold kills arboreals like chop, like that, and they're dead. And if you do see any dirt or mold, take it out straight away. Do not wait. Now, another important thing. You need to put in some sort of a, a hide or basically anything that they can climb up upon. Now, I know a lot of you got some fancy stuff. My stuff is quite simple. I've got over 60, 60 to 20,000 spiders here. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, I have no idea where I was or where I'm going to. Um, but like I said, I have over 16 to 20,000 spiders. So, I keep my stuff really simple. Mostly I use plastic tubs. But I've got this cage in it. It's a nice cage. So... I'm going to use this. So I got a new versicolor. It's supposed to be female. I bought it from a friend from Ornay. But he hasn't sexed it himself yet. So let's hope it's a girl. He bought it as a girl. And now while we're at it, I quickly want to show you something here. Because this is a scary part. Okay. Now this cage is also a boreal cage. You see it's only got one ventilation hole. You can see she's still happy and fine and living. But as soon as spiders reach this size, especially your avix, then it's better to do a cross ventilation. Some may live, some might die. It's not a risk you want to take. And then the second thing is this wood. I'm just going to move it slowly, but you can see it's moving around. And it's not supposed to do that because when if I pick this cage up, if I pick it up and I tip it a bit, this wood will fall to the back and it would instantly crush this versicolor. And it's not something we want. Now, this is not my friend's fault. Um, he bought setups and everything like this. So, um, yeah, and I'm also just trying to explain to you do's and don'ts. If you do put wood like this and you have to take a glue gun, glue it in, or put something that can't tip over. Now, I'm quickly going to rehouse and then I'll just show you what I mean by that. And yeah, versicolors like to jump. I had one on my head before. 
most of your Avix likes to do that. And also don't stress them too much of scare them because they are quite fragile little things. Oh, you see what I mean? She already ran away. And a good sign of a Versi color is that when they have a web or they sit on the top, they're healthy. As you can see here, this is a freshly, freshly spinned web. She's now busy with it. And she actually made it today. She's busy making it now. That's why she's returning to it. Um, if, uh, if any of your arboreals sit on the bottom, do not buy them. If they don't have a web, just don't. At Expos, normally they won't have a webbing, but they will sit at the top. Because I know of me, I clean all my cages before we go to the Expo. So we do break the webbing, rehouse them and everything. So they might not have spin, spin the web yet, but they will sit at the top. Okay, so let's quickly do a uh, rehousing on her. I just want to put this tiny bit back. And I want to move this carefully like I just explained to you. It is a problem if that thing falls back, the spider will be crushed. Now we don't want that. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I just with my paintbrush because I do not want her to jump out of here and if she gets lost in the spider room she will be gone forever. Sorry, I want to break your webbing. I know, I know, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't be scared, don't be scared. And like I said, you do not want to scare her. Also be very, very careful. When you do move her, because you don't want her to jump, and versus are prone to jumping. So just work very, very carefully. Okay, okay. Don't, don't worry. There you go. Okay, now I'm just gonna chase the chase her a bit back, so she can get off this wood. Oh, okay. She's angry. She just, I don't know if you saw that. She just grabbed my paintbrush, but I don't think it's out of anger, um, it's out of hunger, because she ate a lot yesterday and she's still a bit hungry. Come on, girl, please, I don't want to stress you out, but you're stressing me out. Okay, good, there she's in. Let's see, actually, oh, sorry about that, let me just see if she is a bit hungry, because she does look a bit hungry. roaches and like I said versus are known for jumping out so I'm just gonna get this glass ready in case she tries to jump out let's just get her roach oh, come on no oh, you're missing you're missing do not miss little versi color Okay, she'll probably eat it now, but anyways. So that is uh, the diversity color setup. Oh, she got it. I don't know if you saw that. Did you see that? See, so basically she tried to eat the brain brush out of hunger and not out of fear or out of aggression. Most people do mistake do mistaken hunger for aggression, especially with your bird eaters. But they're always hungry. Okay, so... Now that's her cage. So now you know how to set up an arboreal cage. Now what I wanted to show you here is this little cage. You see this? If you move it, it just steps over like that and can easily tip back, roll around, squash your spider. So if you do use these, and I mean these are good stuff. The only problem is crickets and roaches will hide in between them. They will eventually come out and get eaten. But like I said, you don't want to crush your your spider when this thing falls around so it's not the ideal setup and oh that's also why I use my little polystyrene cheap little thingy because um, if it falls forward it might hurt her but not likely and you just stick it into the bead it doesn't easily fall forward and if it does it really I mean, how much can that polystyrene thing hurt if you think about this heavy wooden thing? But anyway, so I hope you enjoy this video. 
and if you've got any questions just send me a mail them at petbox.co.za join subscribe to my channel like the video don't like it comment don't comment whatever floats your boat anyway thank you for watching i'm mandy sermon bye